News 4 is your local election headquarters. Mitch Nowakowski was first elected to the Buffalo Common Council in 2019. Now, less than a full month into his second term, he wants a promotion. News 4's Dave Graber sat down with Nowakowski, who is now the second person to show interest in replacing Tim Kennedy in the New York State Senate. Dave. Well, Don and Jackie, Mitch Nowakowski has been knocking on doors, passing out literature and cold calling for campaigns since he was just 18 years old. In the area he represents on the council, Buffalo's Fillmore District, Nowakowski says mirrors his next hopeful step, the New York State Senate to move this service to Rochester when we deal with blizzards and very tumultuous uh, weather, we cannot just move uh, our services further away from our region. Mitch Nowakowski stands shoulder to shoulder with federal, state, and local leaders in urging the United States Postal Service to shelve its plans to move at least a portion of the William Street Processing and Distribution Center down the thruway to Rochester. This uh, location is a big uh, benefactor to my district that delivers services every single day. The Buffalo Councilman's ascension to this point started about 14 years ago, pounding the pavement for campaigns for everything from town supervisor to county court judge to state assembly to the Senate, which is where he'd like to find himself later this year, replacing Senator Tim Kennedy, who's the likely candidate to replace Brian Higgins when he vacates his seat on Congress early next month. We started at the same time. Nowakowski is barely a month into his second term on the council, and now he wants a promotion. These opportunities come only once in a lifetime to be able to serve in this capacity. Nothing ventured is nothing gained, so I am right now exploring that opportunity uh, with the Democratic Party. Nowakowski says his Fillmore district shares demographics with the state Senate's 63rd, which includes historically Democratic strongholds like Metro and South Buffalo, Lackawanna and Cheektowaga. A lot of times I represent the, the richest and some of the poorest people in the city of Buffalo. It's an honor and it's a privilege. And if I've learned anything, it's learned to roll up my sleeves, be quick and agile on my feet, be able to figure out what issues are happening and also bring people together while also delivering. He also brushes off any notion that at the age of 32, he's at a disadvantage in Albany. I've knocked on a lot of doors in my life, and they said I was too young at 27 to be a council member, and I proved them wrong and was able to serve honorably. Quite the opposite, he says. And I believe that my age is my strength because we're starting to see generational shifts. And as we start seeing generational shifts in our community, we also need to see them reflected in our elected representatives, too. One of those generational shifts happened in 2011 with the adoption of the Marriage Equality Act, making same-sex marriage the law of the land in New York State. Nowakowski championed the law, fighting alongside prominent Democrats like Kennedy to get it accomplished. I have a special and unique uh, really spot and fondness for the senator and for this Senate district because something so historic happened that benefited my life and a lot of people that I love and care about. Now, a spokeswoman for Tim Kennedy tells me the 63rd is a diverse district that deserves strong representation and that Kennedy looks forward to working with whomever his successor is to continue the progress he's made over the past 12 or so years. Clearly still too early for an endorsement. In the studio tonight, Dave Graber, News 4.